stayed up so late last night editing that vlog um, that I slept in a little late today. Um, didn't wake up till like nine, but me and Hector just spent the morning out on the patio uh, doing crystal gem elixirs. So we were actually um, putting some crystals into water in a glass and then making some affirmations and setting them out in the yard in the sun. And then you can like drink the elixir or spritz it on like your pillow or your wallet. But yeah, we just kind of spent the morning with crystals and affirming some things we want in our life. And it was just an amazing way to start the morning really. So it's gonna be a lazy Sunday. I have to water some plants and edit some footage. So I'll check back in when I'm doing something interesting. Hey guys, just checking in. Um, it honestly might rain again outside. Like, that's gonna be three days in a row, that's crazy. Um, but it's around noon now, it's 11.45. Um, we decided to just post up in the living room. Hector's gonna read, I'm gonna edit yesterday's vlog and try to get this one edited too, so I'm not behind. Uh, and I think we're gonna watch something on Studio Ghibli. I really want to watch, uh, we'll rewatch Kiki's Delivery Service. I think I've seen every Studio Ghibli movie at least two times. I've seen Secret Life of Arietti at least five times. That's my favorite. So we're going to go post up in the living room and I'll check back in later when I do something interesting. started raining outside so we pulled our gem elixirs we had out there in here and I poured mine up into a little spray bottle so I have a little spray bottle full of that charged elixir water that we just made so I just kind of spray this on me throughout the day and around areas that I'm in frequently I sprayed my wallet and like things that represent like abundance and stuff like that so we did that and then I also put some of the elixir water into a little jar here and I added some citrine and clear quartz just kind of like another way to boost and manifest some abundance into my life and I also made a grid over in the crystal room so you know what? I'll go show you guys that grid here for like financial abundance like success and prosperity in my job and just in my life in general and it just has made me feel like really good knowing that there is positivity coming my way. So I made a grid, I faced it north because that's for the most energy. And yeah, so I'm just really hoping that this brings a lot of abundance and prosperity and success into my life. It is raining again out here. It's been really humid and my plants have loved it, but this is the third day in a row. It is, it is raining. It hasn't rained forever. We needed this rain for so long. I actually just love when it rains. Like it is one of my favorite things ever is when it rains outside. It's just so cozy and makes you want to like just cuddle up on the couch with a movie. 
And honestly, that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go cuddle up on the chair and get a blanket and some tea and finish editing the vlog. Follow the rain. Guys, the second vlog is about to go up. It is just checking and processing. Just hanging out here in the plant room. It was raining earlier. It was nice with the rain by the door. Yeah. All right, guys, the vlog is up. Yesterday's vlog, that is. I'm still recording here for today's vlog, but I'm gonna get the footage that I have today so far up into the computer and try to edit that just so I can get this one up maybe by the end of tonight or early tomorrow, and then I'll be back on track. But yeah, I have vlogged to upload it. This is so exciting, truly. I've like always wanted to share my content with people and I never did because I just didn't, I just didn't take that leap. And I did. And now I feel like I'm really doing it and I'm so excited. Um, Bo, come say hi. Love Moines. Okay, I'm taking a break from watering my plants. Um, you guys are so amazing. I literally, love y'all to those who have already been watching and subscribed to this channel honestly that means <clears throat> means so much to me like this is something i've always wanted to do and having your support just makes me feel a whole lot better about the situation you know so i just wanted to say that i love y'all and i appreciate the support and i'm glad that y'all like the content and if there's any content specifics y'all want just comment them down below and I will do my best to incorporate those types of videos. I'm gonna go finish watering plants cause it's almost four o'clock and I gotta start dinner soon. Okay, so I actually want to make some tea. Um, I haven't made some in a while. This is just my small French press that I like to use. It's perfect, like for a couple cups of tea, it like gets the job done. Um, so I have some water heating up in my kettle. This is probably going to get loud. Okay, so I have an assortment of teas here. I have a lot of tea. Um, but I'm just going to keep this blend pretty simple. I'm just going to do some chamomile. Going with some lavender flower. I love holy basil. Holy basil might be one of my favorite teas. I'm gonna do a little bit of cinnamon chips. I have some licorice root. This stuff is really, really sweet, honestly. It's been like my new go-to like sweetener for teas instead of sugar. And you don't need a whole lot of it. Look how cute this bag is. Um, I buy my teas and herbs from this place called Herbs and Oddities. It's like a little crystal and herb shop. And the little bag that they gave me has a little handwritten note. It's so cute. I love it. I have it like in my cabinet facing forward. So when I see it each morning, I'm like, okay, you're right. It's like a good motivation thing, really. Okay, this is ready to go. So I've let this cool down. It got up to a boil and it clicked off and then it's been off for about 30 seconds. So it's come down about 10 to 15 degrees from boiling. And I like to do that with my tea so I don't scorch the tea. I don't pour boiling water on it. I let it cool down for about 15 to 30 seconds um, before I pour it in. I find this kind of preserves a little bit of the flavor of the flour. Some teas are okay to brew that hot, like chamomile is pretty good, but things like licorice and lavender will lose a lot of their fragrance if the water is too hot. So I just try to let it cool down for like 30 seconds before I pour it in there. And then like I said, I like a pretty stout tea, so I let mine brew for like 30 to 45 minutes. Um, that also gives it time to come down to like a perfect temperature to drink it at. So I'm just going to cap it and let it sit for about 45 minutes. I was just coming to water this guy and look how long she is. I think she's at least four maybe five feet long like i'm so impressed by her her little bananas i have the humidifier going now 
some plants on this rack really like the humidity and I don't have a closable cabinet yet. That is something I want to get, but for now I just kind of have an open shelf display and our house has a good, you know, steady humidity around 55 to 60, um, just because we usually have like windows cracked and humidifiers going. So it stays relatively humid in here. And most of the plants enjoy that. But I found around the house it's about 60. And then over here specifically in this plant room, I can get it up to about 70, which is the highest I can tolerate before it starts to feel sticky. But everything's doing so well here on this wall. Just wanted to do a little plant update. Hey guys, my tea is done. So I just came in here to sit and enjoy it in the sunlight. It's so nice in here, but this is so warm. Honestly, it's burning my hand. So I'm just gonna drink this, finish watering some plants, edit, make dinner, and then try to get this one posted by tonight. I just finished editing the Stefania repot video. I got the second vlog edited and uploaded and the Stefania video edited and I'm gonna upload it tomorrow morning. But check out the sunset. It's gorgeous. So I'm gonna finish editing uh, would be yesterday's vlog because I was two days behind and then I'll be caught up so yeah another late night check-in I finally got the vlog footage edited and uploaded YouTube was taking forever to process the videos in HD but I have my third vlog up and I posted a Stefania recta care guide video I have four videos up on my channel. I'm just so over the moon about that. Honestly, I really have done so much and I'm so proud of myself. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the content. Uh, yeah, so I love you guys. Thank you so much. I hope, you know, this was fun and I will see you guys hopefully again tomorrow. Good night.